They're celebrating 25 years of business in Overland Park today. Everybody loves comic books, right? And I have a great thing or a great time checking out everything superhero and more at Elite Comics. Talk about when you opened and kind of how you've grown up to this point. Well, 25 years ago, there was a, the business was a lot different. Mm -hmm. It was all about just single issues. That's basically all that came out. Now, I would say probably half the business is the trade paperbacks, which are the you know the reprints that tell the whole story in a book form. Oh, okay, so for example, let's say we just watched the Venom movie, and now I want to find out all about Venom. So instead of going back and buy all those back issues, I can right. just go buy one book now. Yeah, you can go buy all the trades that tell all the stories. Back then, I mean, they didn't put a book in a trade unless it was like yeah. some kind of seminal thing. Now, literally everything. What made you want to get into comic books and then to open a store like this? So I bought this store from a guy who, who he opened it. He had it for a couple years before I bought it. He was the only person I've ever known that knew they shouldn't be self-employed. <laughs> Everyone wants to own their own business. He was the only guy that did it and went, I am not good at yeah, this. Yeah, I can't do it. <laughs> and now he works for home <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> not at all self-employed. <laughs> but I wanted to get out of the coin out business. And, you know, I liked comics when I was a kid. And I think it might be in me genetically because my great-grandparents had like a general store. My grandparents had a bookstore. So I think maybe going to their bookstore when I was a kid, planted a little seed in me and yeah. I've been doing it for 25 years. What's your secret for your success? Because I know the last time I stepped in my local comic shop here in Kansas City or over in KCK was over 20 years ago and it, it closed up shop mid 90s, probably right as you were getting ready to open this one. Yeah, I think a lot of it is just, if you have the, the personality to own your own business, mm -hmm. where it's, you kind of got to be happy with simple repetitive tasks, <laughs> where you're going to go there every day, do the same thing, you know, every week's an order, every day's a delivery, yeah. you know, get, you know, just keep up doing the stuff you got to do all the time. And then it's basically just about relationships. How do you keep up with everything? Because I remember back in the day, it was like, well, it was Marvel, DC, Image, and maybe a couple of other ones that you could keep up with. But now it just seems like there's so many. Oh, there. there's probably 50 publishers now. Yeah. A lot of it is because all the subscriptions that we do, the subscriptions for people, is it's all online. We do it all through yeah. the computer. So they can go look through the entire catalog and find some cool title they like and just click on it and I'll get it for them. What's your favorite comic book that you have here right now? The favorite, like, ongoing one or like a single issue? Okay, both. <laughs> uh, my favorite ongoing now is probably Thor. Yeah. The uh, Jason Aaron, he's a local guy, is writing Thor. My favorite issue is first appearance of Silver Surfer. Oh, so that's going to be 1960s Fantastic Four? Yep. Okay. Yep. Very cool. Do you have that one here in the shop? I don't. I have that one in my house. Oh, yeah. That was a special. Got to keep it close. Yeah, that one's, that's my all-timer. <laughs> Well, not only are there superheroes on the pages of those comics, but there are also real-life superheroes at Elite Comics, and I'll explain more next.